Hello to your faithful few, and I'm sure the skeptics out there. Hello to you too. Um, just a update video, really. Um, I, I'm causing a little bit of concern among a few friends, <laughs> understandably, because let's say what I'm saying. Uh, the probability of it is so remote, um, you know, to think, oh, I know someone who is the Christ, is is so remote that, you know, it, it would be mainly unbelievable <laughs> to believe. Um, so, anyway, so anyway, most of this friend came around, and we had a chat, and it's good. And uh, he said to me, you know, you made a video <laughs> saying, you know, if this happens, then I am, and if it doesn't, then I'm not. And, and he goes, and it hasn't happened, so you're not, you know, so why are you still continuing it? And um, so what I said to him was, well, yes, partly what he says is true, but I made, say, predictions and from what I've seen and felt, some have come true and some haven't. So I'm being told two things, I'm right and I'm wrong. And and as soon as... no, So that is telling me, firstly, that um, I, I'm right and wrong, right? That's what it's telling me. But it's telling me also not to put God on the spot. That's the feeling I got, you know, don't, don't sort of do that in a sense, and and I was pressuring myself, I, I felt I needed to prove it, um, so, you know, again, that was the wrong thing to do, and as soon as I was making the video and, and, and doing the, the work, I, I sort of realised that the way God moves is through individuals, so, mainly, and I, I think that's probably true. You know, God might get involved and do the odd thing, but I think mostly God is going to be working through people and working through people. And there was something else which has passed me. So, so f from my own point of view... I I would say I've I, I've got a healthy a healthy viewpoint in in a sense you know I'm not one hundred percent committed because I still you know what what do I do in my life I serve God and work for God as best as I can and I be myself so there isn't really much I need to do. Uh, apart from the meditation work, which, you know, is that real or not? Um, in a sense, we'd have to wait and see, but the result from meditating is really good. I feel good. I, I feel like I've employed my my time well, and it seems to have a healthy effect. So, all good. And the other thing I want to say is, you know, I can sit here and say these things, say I am the seventh Christ, without any sort of, you know, jittering at the back of my neck, no nervousness, no sort of twitching away with my eyes. I look you in the eye and say that. And I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't truly believe what I'm saying. I, I have integrity. Um, how can I convince you that I have integrity? Well, I, I would just say, look back at my videos, look at what I've been talking about from the beginning. You know, I, I, I'm not here to deceive. There's a, I'm here against the deceit. The deceit is what's driven me to do this. Um, the other thing people might judge is, well, you haven't had a lot of views, so, you know, obviously... You know, and I don't do this for views either. If I was doing this for views, I would have changed my 
video format or what I talk about, you know, to, to get views. You know, and you know, putting God in the title of your video just doesn't get it views. You know, that's or you know partly the reason possibly. Anyway, so I've got a few little updates I just wanted to talk about. So also this is the thing, you know. We say these things haven't happened. Now obviously this meteor I had a vision of coming in, that has not happened yet. Possibly. Well, there was that one in Sri Lanka. I mean that was a bit weird. Uh BP Earthwatch did the best video on it and he showed how it broke apart and there was something else in the middle and you could see the colour from over the outside of the object, like they're both, it's all white but then the outside of the objects had different colours, one had a pink hue and one had a green hue now that would suggest that it's made of different materials now he said, oh it's probably been shot, shot at well, if it had then the the thing that they shot at it wouldn't be going in the same direction as the thing itself so it didn't to me look like it shot at but it seemed like possibly broke apart and there was something in the middle that was pretty weird you see now see what I want to be careful with is the deception that I said the deception is going to be rife so even though we have this thing on the news and you know, even myself, I was sitting there watching it, whatever, can't bother with this, <laughs> I don't care, you know, why, why was I thinking that, why wasn't I thinking, yes, yes, this is it, come on, come on, <laughs> but I don't know why, I don't know, it's just, we've had it up to the neck, haven't we, oh, something else again, oh, another date, because also that, you know, that one was, predicted on a date, November the 13th. Anyway, shit's going on. The other thing I thought was the harbinger that I said I'm kind of waiting for a sign. And I know it's not a natural thing, but that explosion in China, that was a big thing. But anyway, so stuff is happening. You know, we had quite a few fireballs around that proceeding, that um, one on November the 13th. And maybe it was just put out to us so weakly... You know, that we're just all, or you know, CERN's pumping out other stuff, or apathy, you know, it's being mm, thrown upon us. <laughs> and uh, we're just like, oh, whatever. Something fell out the sky. <clears throat> but it could be a big deal. You know, and that that is also what I suspected. I suspected that it would be covered up. Okay, and it didn't go in the Gulf of Mexico as I visioned it. And so something still might happen. I mean, nine Narnia, she thinks, she thinks it's still going to happen. Anyway, so let me just, uh, let me just, um... <laughs> oh, no. See, you got to be tolerant with me. I'm just being myself, baby. You should be too. And I'll tell you what. I'm just going to speak to the faithful and ignore the skeptics. I don't know. I don't know why I just said that. Alright. Should be my own skeptic. I am. I am my own skeptic. You know, I thoroughly analyze everything even the smoking I analyze it and I was just thinking earlier you know if I had to go without tobacco and I was walking down the street and I get a big diesel stink in my face like on the way walking back from work today Loads of different disgusting smells, someone burning plastic, car fumes. You know, it happens all the time. I would get very angry. Now, if smoking tobacco placates me, 
and perhaps even if only in my mind but there is logic to it and I am a user of common sense the, the, the resin in the tar, the sticky stuff could be protecting my lungs from these other shit so if it placates me and you know I got I had a cough it was a bugger you know quite a few other people had it as well and it was a nasty bastard going round and uh, it's better it's gone so you know it can't be that bad and uh, it's probably to do with my new job as well like you know I hadn't before my new job I hadn't been ill for quite a number quite a few years I hadn't had like that cold where you just feel awful and you don't want to do anything and since I started work at the end of March I had one in about July and just had one now so it may well be me getting used to new germs as well because when you're in these uh, you know care homes or whatever and that a lot of coughs and colds are going round a lot of them there have the flu jabs you know it's a perfect environment for highly resistant bacteria and germs germs that have evolved to be highly resistant to stuff anyway I was using natural methods anyway so that's good right Like an advert, isn't it? Hamlet is a cigar. Uh, I can't remember the advert. Right, so I've written a few notes here the other day. Europe's excuse to attack. So this is all about Paris attacks again, like I said about. But it's like, you know, it's so set up. You know, I mean, right. Let's bomb the fuck out of Syria and... Obviously, there's going to be lots of migrants. And we've already bombed the crap out of Afghanistan and Iraq, so migrants there too. Well, you will probably went to Syria, and now Syria's fucked. They've had to go. So they must have known that there was going to be migrants. So then we have this thing, don't we, like Germany lets in 140,000 or whatever, and oh, we're all letting migrants in at the end of the summer, early autumn. So, you know, this is a big thing. And then conveniently we have these Paris attacks on Friday the 13th. It's like Europe's perfect excuse, isn't it? To say, look, what we did, we brought them in. We put them in a little prison. <laughs> they didn't say that, did they? Gave them homes. You know, all this. And then this is what they do to us. You know, we tried, but sorry, we're going to have to fucking lock you out. It's just so set up. It just stinks. It stinks to high heaven. And who the fuck is this leader of the European Union anyway with his bold head? <laughs> Who is he? We've got to stop putting up with this sham of a democracy. It's such a sham. It's such bullshit. That was that. Uh, I'll skip that one to the end. Well, also, you know, Europe's inciting racial hatred. You know, the, the few people I've spoken to, you know, it's this migrant thing. You, you know, everyone's, everyone's thinking about it, talking about it, because, because the media push this. This is what they want to push. So it's in your face all the time if you listen to the shitty mass media and um, it's what, what's, that's what they're doing, they're inciting hatred, they're bringing you down 
God wants to bring you up. So just remember, all human beings, we all have a life, we're all going to die. We're all children of God. Right, um, there was a big earthquake in Greece. 6 point, six point five initially, I think it was, and then got downgraded. And that's another thing I want to mention. Uh, you know, no mention of it whatsoever. It's just like, nothing. Why do they want to play down the earthquake so much? They really are. They're playing them down big time. And there's volcanic eruptions as well, which, you know, even the uh, even the YouTube news aren't aren't getting all of these, aren't getting all the, you know, you can see it on RSOE if you go and look, eruption, volcanic eruption, volcanic eruption. Uh, most of them, the YouTubers have been covering, but oh, there's some of them they're missing as well because probably because they're in remote places. And yeah, that's another thing. Also, these the YouTubers, like, if you watch these videos that come out every week or month, like, events that have happened over the last month and stuff, so much of it is from somebody's iPhone. Uh, no news logo there at all. And so how the heck these guys are getting all these? It must just be luck, you know, people are sending them to them because they know they put these compilations together. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't hear anything. You know, I'm talking massive floods with lorries and everything sailing down, and it's uh, it's so minimal what we're what we're getting now. And you really, you know, you're really having to look. And the mass animal deaths, you know, is not slowing down. It is everything is everything is still accelerating, but the earthquakes is very much played down. So there's always this, okay, yeah, the earthquake's happened, <laughs> thing records it, straight feed out, right, that's a 6.5. All of them are being downgraded. None of them are being upgraded. <laughs> They're all being downgraded. And the other thing is, several years ago, we changed away from the Richter scale. Now apparently, the reason for this was so that larger earthquakes could be recorded. But if you if you look at a website that says, all right, what would that have been on the Richter scale? And what would it have been on today's scale? Well, these websites will claim, will tell you, that it would have been higher on the Richter scale. No, hang on. Lower. It's like the opposite. Like, so, sorry, I know that just didn't make sense then. <laughs> or it was almost the same. It wasn't. It wasn't very far out, but it was. It was. Which way was it? I can't remember. Discard that. Doesn't matter. They changed the scale, and it looks as though there was really no reason to change the scale. Plus the fact that they're downgrading all the earthquakes all the time. You know, not even hearing about a 6.1 in Greece. Like nothing. And even though it definitely happened, it's definitely something that happened, there's no doubt about it. Um, really downplayed. And so, why? Well, we know why. There, there, there's something coming that they know. And again, this morning I was sitting out at work, five minutes to look out the window, and watching these chemtrails being made quite far in the distance. They're deceiving us. And they're playing everything down. And so something is coming, and instead of being open and telling us what it is, they want to conceal it, to prevent panic, would be one reason, to keep us 
buying shit in the shops would be another reason. Um, keeping the wheels turning. But they, they get this feeling that on top of this, right, so they know something's coming. They want to conceal it from us. They want to keep us going on in our mundane lives. But they also needed something else. And it appears to be oil. Shitloads. They needed shitloads of oil. So that would be transportation. Transportation up. Up and away. That's logical. Common sense, you know, most people today have lost their common sense. If you stick a toothbrush in your mouth with toothpaste on it, you've lost your common sense. You lost it a long time ago. Or you're not using your common sense when you shove a toothbrush in your mouth with toothpaste on it. You're not using your common sense. This is common sense. This is a licorice stick. And, uh, you know, you drink coffee and smoke shit, you know, teeth are going to get stained with stuff, so you need to use something um, to rub it off. I mean, the best thing to do is eat, uh, eat strawberries and fruit, and, and then don't brush your teeth at all, you know, chew it really properly and don't... You know, this is common sense. The mouth is part of the body. The body is a natural thing. We depend on bacteria to live. It's absolutely essential. And our mouth is part of it. So is our skin. You know, we are natural things. If you put things on your skin or in your mouth, I mean, particularly in your mouth, that kills bacteria, you are being very foolish. It is not doing you any good. And you wonder why you wake up with a bad taste in your mouth in the morning. Anyway, I've said this before. So, common sense. Use it in everything you do really useful. It's provided by God as well. You can put common sense to things. So why don't we link this to the last thing I've written on this piece of paper. I was going to say, see? I do do work. I wanted you to know, I do... Yeah, you know, every YouTube video I make, I watch. And... I do care if, I, if I've if i said something wrong. You know, I would... I would think about it. I would... It would bother me. I do take it seriously. Even though I like to present my videos, I just want to sit in front of the video camera, talk, same up bit, and that. And quite often, you know, I'll forget something I would have liked to have said, but I've noticed if I if I write a list or try and plan it out, it just it's just shit. So I'm gonna link this Europe to the last thing I'm gonna talk about. And I'm gonna talk about the Star of David. Well this is the link to the Jews. Now you can check when the Star of David was first ever used. And it's Rothschild, baby. Here's a man, miserly money lender, in Germany, I think. And, um, he, he, he amassed lots of money. And he had five sons. And then he taught them basically what he did. And they went off to 
five different countries and continued it and that was the first use of the Star of David it wasn't even that long ago the flag of Israel to even call it Israel Nine Nine here will tell you and this girl she's done her research into the Bible she is interpreted interpreted it like no one else she's the work she has done meticulous oh my god it fries my brain to even think of trying but she's gone back she's looked at the original meanings of the words oh, she's looked into everything and she you know and I agree with what she says and with you know Israel is the whole world God is for the whole world and there were 12 tribes of Jacob, you know, and those genes today are still continuing on. And they are the true Israelites, if we want to say that. You know, they are the ones who have suffered. They are the ones who had yokes of iron taken away in captivity on ships to distant lands. This was predicted in the Bible. But these so-called Jews who are in Israel now, you know, blue eyes and some of them, and they wear these fucking stupid hats. You know, where was that in the Bible? Hello? And so that, that's what I wrote here was, um, Jews, how have they been recognised? How were they recognised in Shakespeare's time in The Merchant of Venice? You know, they might have certain characteristics, but to hate someone... You know, if the Jews were hated as they were, they must have had, you know, something to be recognised. And, and as far as we can see, it's the, it's the dress, you know, these, these traditional hats and everything. And give, give credit to them. They, you know, they... I, I'm not saying, like, the, the Germans didn't kill them. I, I don't think that could be a lie. Um... I mean, it's possible, but I'm not saying it is. I mean, the Jews were hated in England as well before. They were kicked out of England. And the reason may, seems to be mainly is that they were so good with money. Now, where in the Bible does it say that they'll be good with money? It doesn't. It says they're great musicians. And, and, and you know, charisma. Now, you look at the... the, the people who have taken as slaves over to America and all the other islands before that and, and now we're talking good musicians aren't we so there's no doubt in my mind and even you have got there there are uh, you know there are black Israelites in Israel today there are but they they kind of get more and more squeezed out they're never looked upon as the as the like, I don't know how they explain this, you know, we've got these black people with dreadlocks and then you've got us, we would sort of look like the Palestinians anyway, and then you've got the, the, the very pale ones with blue eyes and whatever. I mean, it, it's just bullshit. They've, they've taken on the Jewish religion, which is fair enough. Let them have it. Why not? I mean, uh, and to be fair to them, you know, they're, they're going to be good going to be some good people but it is a deception they're not the real Jews they didn't lay claim to Israel until 1100 and they were from Uzbekistan and they would have met some real Jews and taken the religion from them I thought I was going somewhere else with that oh yeah linking it to Europe well the fact of the Star of David having been initiated in by Rothschild in Germany. I mean, come on. I, I, know, I tell you, there's something that always smell wrong about Israel. And what did it for me is how they treat their neighbours. They should take on the Gospels. And I had this, uh, there's another YouTuber called Original Pilgrim. 
and he's well into Israel. And Paul Begley is well into Israel. See, this is when you take the Bible too literally. I mean, the Bible can be true on many levels. and But it doesn't always have to be true on many levels. You have to learn to feel the truth. Like the Mark of Cain. I mean, this, the Mark of Cain thing is massive. But it's just a couple of little lines in the Bible. Anyone who kills Cain shall be avenged sevenfold. Mark of Cain. Green eyes. I'm the only one who said this. This truth that came to me while meditating and feeling God. And there are others of these. I've been feeling truth. I've been feeling my way to understand. You, with God. It explains so much. So it's huge. And at the moment, because of, of then it goes on to say, well, Lamech. And again, just a little line in the Bible, it says, well, if Cain, Lamech took two wives, sin. Cain killed his brother, sin. I mean, I've done a video on this, you have to go back and watch. So, and then Lamech says, Cain was avenged seven times, or sevenfold. I'll be avenged seventy-sevenfold. Now, that could mean seven times seven, it could mean seventy-seven. Whichever, whichever way, we're talking some big shit here. So the blue eyes were sent off north, and didn't come back until... The Vikings started invading. And now they are rife all around the Western world. And it's the Western world that... That's causing problems on the earth. You know, I want to I wanna bring down Babylon, okay, but I don't... I can't see God just blowing it all up. Like I say, God works through people. So, gradually people will, will come, come over. And, you know, we can fix this world very easily. Get rid of all chemical industries. <laughs> Get rid of all scientific testing on animals. You know, we can dump all this shit. What's the point in in looking further and further into space when your own planet is suffering because of your actions? You know, perhaps because of spending so much money on scientific endeavour. We need, you know, that, that we're harming the planet. And you're never going to get there. I mean, the nearest star is four, four light years away. I mean, forget it. You know, wait for Mars to be terraformed. Well, that's going to take time. The Earth can be fixed. And I guess it's God's plan to do it. And I guess things will happen subtly and slowly, like a flower opening. Yeah? You watch it. It doesn't look like it's moving. You look at it, and then you look back after half an hour, and suddenly it's opened. This is how things will happen. Keep on, keep faith. Me too. You know, the other thing I like about giving advice is eventually it comes back to me and I, I have to follow the advice I've been given. It's good advice. It is. It is. <laughs> and you can't judge by appearances with me, can you? Um, oh yeah, kingdom come, and it will, God's kingdom, is it coming, is it coming baby, and that makes me happy, and so yes, it will happen gradually, it will happen Slowly, but we can we can make this happen. 
you know, there are good things out there. Bamboo bikes, skate parks. I like those. I don't like concrete. But, you know, you've got to weigh things up. If you, if you say, all right, I can never cut down a tree. I mean, maybe, maybe we, maybe God will find a way for us to live like that. Maybe there were, you know, in a, in a sense for it to be like that, there probably have to be a, a sudden transformation, like a, a healing, right? You've, you've, you've learned all your stuff now. Or, like I just said, it's going to be gradual. So, say you never cut down a tree. Or, never use any concrete. Because <coughs> the concrete industry <coughs> is the number one for pollution. It's terrible. The production of it is terrible. I hate the stuff. But if you want to build something and it not fall down when it rains, you know, concrete's kind of quite essential. But whether whether we need to do that or not, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. It could, there could be a sudden thing, but... <laughs> Could be gradual. So, I don't know. We don't know, do we? We don't know God's awesome, clever, miraculous ways. I guess we. That's why we have to have faith. That's why we have to have faith. 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 I've been singing, I like singing, you know, without guitar, then you can just sing. What was I sing? what have I been singing? Well, the Moody Blues, but I'm trying to think which song. Like, in my head, I always sing, Lovely to see you again, my friend. But I can't quite get it. Lovely to see you again, my friend. I've been singing hymns. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. It's so nice. You should do this. Someone singing, Lord. I've got a bit of a blocked up nose. I don't know what to play. In time when da 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 la 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 When knights were brave and bold And that miracle appeared In land and town The sword in the that's, I love singing that, even though I don't know the words, but it's love, lush. I'm not 
have to say you're sorry Goodbye, I'm going home There's no need for either of us to worry Goodbye, I'm going home Hate the way that even though you know you're wrong Say you're right Hate the books you read and all your friends Music shy to keep Jin! Who thinks I should get in a band again? songs it is weird obviously if you don't play them for ages then you don't it's hard to remember them but sometimes like you know you t take my guitar somewhere and play and, and, and the songs just keep popping into your head it's weird so I'm gonna see what pops into my head I don't know why it's actually. So I got like I wanted to play because I'm getting my nails back. Broke my thumbnail. It's just just about coming back. It's not quite there yet.
We'll wait till the last growing back. Okay. Love to all my brothers and sisters. We got eternity to live. Good eternity, eternity. Okay, bye.